guys queen d is here queen d is here in my voice you can tell that i am so disgusted right now i am so 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 disgusted right now like really and seriously erica the landlord erica the landlord that's who i'm here to talk about today and i don't care who i'm back so i don't care who want call me wingless drunker or gray about my name I, you, you, I really don't care honestly but you see Every time I tell you when something hurt me and bothered me so much when I hear certain things. And <laughs> Erica, the landlord. Guys, where's Miss Princess? Where is Miss Princess Bashua? Is she listening? Is she watching? Is she observing the behavior on social media of Erica, the landlord? Why have not she retract back like she did with Anna? Why have she not retract back the offer of awarding this lady for her so-called good deeds? Why have she not retracted? Is she not watching the internet? Is she not listening to Erica the landlord? Is she not observing of what's going on how come she have not retracted because is this the kind of behavior is this the kind of a, a, a person that she really and truly want to award and people can fool themselves and talk about oh she's awarding the heart and not what comes out of her mouth people she did not Award Anna because of what came out of Anna's mouth. It was not what was in Anna's heart. Can't you guys really and truly see the biasness of all this? If Anna was still on um, the, 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 the Miss D train or the Miss 99 train or if Anna did not come out and, and curse, um, not even say curse, but, you know, she had some words to say to the 99 lady, right? If Anna did not do that, and Anna was still on the train of the 99 lady or Miss D. Would she have been taken off the award? Would would the award been um? Would they have retracted back the award from her for what she did with 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 um, um whatever that lady name was, right? I don't think so. Guys, be honest and be fair. It's obviously that this is a biasness that's taking place raw in front of you guys' eyes. And you guys are ignoring it. Erica is still on the award show because she's on Miss D train. Our school bus. Our airplane. And this is nothing to do against Miss D, periodly. But if the truth is the truth is the truth. And Miss D did not put herself in a position where these people is using her and being aligned to her the way they are. But in a way, she is rewarding them for doing so. Because there's no way that Erica could be behaving like this on social media. And this woman is still up for an award. Anybody else would have already been taken off. Let the truth be the truth. Now hear all Erica going on. We're gonna listen to one second, right? Just one minute. Guys, that's just a little tidbit, right? If you guys want to listen to the whole entire video, you can go on our page and go listen to all that loud, bosterous ranting that she was doing. All because 
She want to exaggerate the fact that people is talking about her kids. When everybody on social media is busy talking about everybody's kids. Right? What make her kids so special? Yes, true enough. Everyone that does it is wrong to include the kids. We get that. That is a definite, definite. That's the thing that bothers me the most. Right? People on social media is using kids because they know that hurts the most is when you talk about a person's child, right? Hold on one second. I'm back, okay? So when it comes to people's children, yes, I get it. They should definitely, definitely not be, you know, used in, in the pawn against somebody or the pawn on social media because they know once they touch the child, it's going to hurt the parents even that much more. But is it fair to the child to expose the child on social media the way they do? No. But at the end of the day, Erica does it, and a lot of them does it, where they expose people, kids on social media, right? So everybody has a right to come out and act like a woolly gun like this? Yes, they do. Do everyone come out and do that? No, not all of them do. Right. So what I'm saying to you for a person that been nominated, nominated for an award. Right. When you nominate someone for an award, you're saying that they're an outstanding citizen. You're saying that they did so much good for your neighborhood and so much good for the country. I'm not taking away the fact that, OK, she feed the homeless. But come on, people, man, come on in watching and observing this woman, regardless of what she is gaining from what she's doing. And when a person is gaining from what they're doing, you cannot differentiate whether it's really, truly being done from the heart or it's being done because of what they're gaining from it. And it's only one day a week that she feeds the homeless. One day a week. Which is okay. But at the same time, you have many people out there that's feeding the homeless every single day. Sometimes 24 hours a day because they supply shelter for them also. So there's a lot more people out there that's more deserving of this award that Erica's supposed to be getting. And what is Erica doing? Every single day, Erica come out and she find a reason not to go to Canada. She is plainly trying to tell you guys, I don't want to go. I want the money. If you want to send me the little, you know, trophy, you can't send it by this one. I send it by that one. If you want to continue sending me the money, you can do that. I'll take it. But I don't want to go to Canada. That is all the woman is screaming and yelling and carrying on for the past couple of weeks. Is trying to let you guys know I don't want to go to Canada. And the reason why she don't want to go to Canada, because deep down inside, she knows she don't deserve it. She knows she do not deserve to be going to Canada. And she's going to find every reason and every excuse to be taken off the program. And Miss Princess Bashore seems to be turning a blind eye in what she's doing and her behavior and oblige Erica by taking her off the program. She is looking for an excuse not to go, people. Can't you just hear that? That is the reason why she come out and continue to behave bad. Even when people have counseled her and warned her and try to talk to her. So, Erica, now that you're going to be going to this award show, maybe you need to tone it down a little bit. It seems like she turned up the volume even worse. Because she don't want to go. She's screaming out, I don't want to go. And you people is consistently pushing her and encouraging her to go. Because why? Because her being there may help sell ticket. It's all about the money for you guys. You guys are like, you're using Erica as a pawn to help sell you guys ticket. Maybe even in all of your hearts, you know she don't deserve it. But you know if you tag her to the team and bring her, it's going to help sell ticket. So you're using the woman as a pawn. So what's the difference of when she go out there and sell her body and someone else using her to make money off of her as if she's a slave? Because that is what it comes down to. You guys are using this woman as a slave and as a pawn to help sell 
ticket. That is all this is all about. And I think Erica probably deep down realizing that the woman don't want to go to Canada. Uh, how much more can she tell you guys that? I'm going to let you continue to hear just a little bit more. hear that how many times this woman in every video that she does tell you i don't want to go to canada you really think she's saying it because she's upset no erica keeps saying she's fighting over her kids i get it right and these are grown kids these are not babies these are not teenagers this is a grown man i think she even is a grandma now i think the guy gave her a baby i, I, I don't know no. I, i'm not sure allegedly you know, her son had a child, finally, and, you know, she's a grandmother now. So these are grown kids that we're talking about, right? I don't know where on social media all her kids' picture are, is being circulated. Maybe it's only on one or two bloggers' page, right? Maybe one or two bloggers' page. But the way Erica is coming out is as if her, her, her kids' picture have gone viral all over social media and the whole entire world is coming at her kids, right? That is the way, why, uh, that is what she's making people to believe the way she come out so angrily about defending her kids, right? You have one or two bloggers that might show her son picture or whatever, but how many other people, kids, she have shown? I'm not sure, right? But I know there's one or two times, right? So what I'm saying to you guys is, Erica behavior is to let you know she don't want to go. And the next excuse she's going to have is about money, to go, right? And you're going to hear it for yourself that that is another thing that she wants to use as an excuse. So she's going to say, people, if you want me to go, me need money for food, I need money for my cigarette, I need money for my beer, I need money for my liquor, I need money to um to buy my plane ticket, I need money to buy clothes, I need money for my hotel room. These are all the demands that she's underhandedly saying that she wants. And people, it's another reason for her to use an excuse not to go. But you know what? She know when she put that out there in the atmosphere, all of you guys is going to run and put money together and send go give her for everything that she says she needs. And at the end of the day, you know what? Erica still may not go. Is that the real plan? Send me more money because I need it for this. Send me more money because I need, if you want me to go to Canada, this is the only way. Even though she's coming out and say she's not begging nobody nothing and she rather go take her title for her land and go borrow a loan. She knows she's not going to do that. Because when she come back, where she going to find the money from to repay back that loan? Probably still coming straight back from you guys to repay back that loan. So Erica already know she have no intention of using no title to go to no bank and get no loan. She's relying on all of you guys to send her money for everything that she needs. And she using the fact that you guys well want she come to Canada, dying to meet her, dying to see her. She's using that as her leverage to say, if you want me to go, if you want me to come, these are the money I am going to need. And if I'm not getting that, I am not coming. And when you fall for that now, are you sending all of your money, go get Erica? At the end of the day, I promise you, Erica may fight even. She probably already have in her head what final excuse she's going to use to not go at the end of the day and get to keep all that thousands of dollars, which I know you, I don't even want to say. I was going to say something, but I'm not going to say it. But you people out there that have nothing better 
to do with your money. And it cannot be the young folks that's sending these money on a regular basis to everybody on social media. It cannot be the young people. I am sorry. I watch and observe young people and them love, nobody not love money like these young people. You hear me? So it got to be the more mature and the elderly that's really sending money like this because they're already retired. A lot of them are already retired. They have nothing else to do with their money. Their kids are all grown, so they don't have any young kids to take care of. Their house is probably already fully paid off, so they don't have a mortgage to pay, and they have nothing else to do with their money. And I hear another blogger saying, that the elderly and the mature people of a certain age, drama is what keep them going. Drama is what they enjoy. Drama is what they crave for. So therefore, if they got to use the money that they have nothing to do with it other than to keep supporting persons like Erica, right? That will come on the internet and give them a full-blown drama episode for the day. That is what they're going to do. And that is exactly what's happening. And that's why most people that go on bagger bagger on social media and load up their mouth and cuss people, right? And say all kind of nasty things about people. That's why they are the one that get in the most pretty screens. They're the one that get in the most cash up. They are the one that getting the most stars because that is what people love to see and they are paying to see. They are paying it to encourage them to continue because there is no way if Erica behaved like this, if her views was dropping because of it, if her subscription... I'm sorry, if their subscription was dropping because of it, if no one was no longer donating to her program, if you see all of that, was dropping and eliminating. I promise you, maybe that would push her to change. But the more she does it and the more money she continues to get and the more support she keeps getting and she has people in her comment section that's egging her on and, and yes, Erica, you're right, Erica. No, don't make nobody class you're putting them at true. Yeah, different. And they push her and they fuel the fire for her to go even harder. The more she see that and she see that she still get the support, our, subscri sub our subscription is going up, money still are rolling, donations still are rolling. If she continue to behave like that and that continue to come in, what is the incentive for her to change? Nope. There is no incentive there for a lot of people that behave the way they do on social media and you guys continue to support it and, and continue to fund it. There is no incentive there for it to change because they realize they're not losing anything by doing it. And that is what is going to continue to go on until we realize that we, the public, we, the viewers, we, the subscribers, have to take in consideration that we are the one that's funding and fueling and continuing these uh, obstructious, disrespectful bloggers to continue to say and do the things they do on social media. Now listen to one more and then I'm done with this.
Amen. And I, I don't think I can pay my way through. When the time comes, near to June, I will find out what I'm doing. Credit union, they are here. I may have assets. So if me feel like it's it's good enough to put my asset on the line, if me don't feel like it, then we stay right here. All right, people. So you hear that, right? Does that sound like somebody that really and truly grateful about the nomination? Does that sound like somebody that's so excited to go to Canada to accept such a prestigious award? Does that sound like someone that is so grateful and thankful and feel within their own self that they are deserving of this award. Does that sound like someone like that? Or does it sound like someone that know within their selves that they did not qualify for the honor that has been bestowed upon them? Does that sound like someone that's using the opportunity that's been given unto them and use it for their own benefit by making a lot of undertone financial demands and using the opportunity to make money off of social media and make money off a of contribution towards this whole um, Canada process. Does this sound like someone that detests even the people them that supporting her detest them. Does it sound like someone that is overall grateful, thankful, and excited for this opportunity? No, it does not. People open up on the eyes, open up on the ears. When people show you who they are, that is exactly who they are. Don't sugarcoat it. Don't make excuses for it. Just accept them for who they are. And as much as I would like to see the award become a successful award event, this is what I may see and would like probably to happen for Erica to milk as much money as she can from everybody that's pushing and boosting her to go. And when she does reach, if she goes, I want one of you to look at her the wrong way. I want one of you to say the wrong word to her. I want one of you to go and like someone better than she. I want one of you to try to ignore her. I want one of you to show her any kind of bad mind sign. I want one of you to even breathe upon her too hard. Because the way she got to limb her up right there in the middle of the ceremony. It's going to leave everybody more wide open and gasping. And it'll be such an embarrassment to Miss Princess for sure. And they all would deserve it. Because they hear the woman say she don't want to go. And the whole of Uno, they push her and they prompt her to go for the own beneficial, for the own financial gain off of this woman. So she come there and she embarrassed the whole of Uno by acting up and behaving like what you see she behaving now on social media. The whole of Uno would deserve it. I'm a done talk. Have a blessed day, evening, morning, afternoon. Any, any part of the world you're in today. And Queen B is 